Nurul Islam, who is the chair of Arakan Rohingya National Organization. Please come forward. facing genocide by all legal definitions. Here, regarding the Rohingya people, many misleading propaganda has been going on by the best interest. Even the Burmese are telling these people are not, they are historically not totally not. As the Bangladeshi brothers, as scholars, I'm sure you know the history of Karaka, history of Rohingya people. Rohingya are a people who develop from people with different ethnic backgrounds in Arakan, over the centuries. They are a land people who have got cultural civilization. That means we are a people who has got link, relationship, identicalness with the people of Bangladesh. <coughs> people, particularly historically, Ethnically and ethnologically, we have got thousands year relationship with the Muslim background. And today, we are not tolerated in the country, although the Muslims of Arakan, the Rohingya, they have ruled and developed the independent Arakan before the occupation of Eid by the Burmese in 1774. <coughs> the relation between Bengal and Arkan is such. The historians say no water from Arkan has got any link with that of Burma. It has got all the time relationship with, with Bengal. <coughs> that was relation between you and you. The other thing is, they used to say that, to be the allegation that, or they are justifying all their crimes against humanity and genocide against our people, saying, you look like Bengali. You speak Bengali language, the language of the God. This is the history. <coughs> this is the history. To be, to look like Bengali and to speak Bengali-like language, this is the history because the ancient people in Arkham were Indians similar to that of Bengal. That means they are Bengali. So this is the history. In spite of all these things, we are not tolerated. Why? Because on ethnic background, on, on the grounds of ethnicity and religion. In the other, on the other hand, Burma today it goes to border with many countries. Border with Bangladesh, India, China, Laos, and, and Thailand. All along the border, there are identical peoples that live on both sides of the international border. As for example, in Kachin after Obama, the Kachin people are one million Kachins are living in China. You know you're not wrong. But those people were accepted by the Chinese with different names. <coughs> Similarly in India, we have got a Mizu. In Burma they are called Shin. It's 
is very much accepted. In Bangladesh, they are called Chilagong because they are born. Bong people in Chilagong district. In Bangladesh as well, we have the mock people or the kind people. Again, these mock mocks are the kind that accept the Maramai Chilagong district. When this logic is accepted, identical nestly accepted in the case of other people, but we are not accepted. The problem. <coughs> the, the Burmese politics is that is they have adopted a national policy <coughs> to make our people, to make a clean show of peace, to read out the Muslim population by means of by use of force by imputation of black laws and killing our people. What is happening today in Araka? This it is the continuation of the genocidal onslaught that was happening in 2012. If international community, the world bodies, powerful countries are taken it in serious and they spoke of that there is this according to the norms of the international law and practices. Today, these kinds of onslaught and genocide are not I'm not going because in social media you see we are seeing what is happening today. In nutshell, approximately 500 people are killed. But I cannot say that exactly. What they did, they have seized the whole, whole, whole area. There is no international observer. <coughs> <coughs> no other international journalists are allowed to go to, 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 to go and see them. Similarly, they don't allow, they prevent all the humanitarian aid to them, so that without the knowledge of the world, they could they kill our people, the rape our women, our, 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 our mother, our father, our, our sister, and they, are, they make wholesale destruction of everything. Even, 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 even product, rice, and then as well. So this is going on. By all legal definition, I said, this is very genocide. The international legal expert has said, they are unanimous, unanimous to call it a genocide. So genocide is a thing, it's international crime. It cannot be an internal affairs of Burma. And the Burma is claiming. Mama said that it's an internal affair. Don't know Prime Minister Najib of Malaysia. Why you are going to, to join the protest in Sunday? This is our internal affair. They are giving this, they are protesting the Malaysia. But I say, human rights, violation of human rights of a people cannot be internal affairs of a country. This is universality of the human rights. Universal human rights is universal. We have to accept the universality of the human rights. So, when this is just a genocide, when there are crimes against humanity, when the war crime and ethnic cleansing is going, this is we have got this case gone in the national <laughs> jurisdiction. And the case is made to discuss in the United Nations Supreme Council for a binding resolution. But unfortunately, the international response is very poor. The United, I mean, UK government, as well as powerful countries, they are still very silent. They are, they are chillingly silent. They are chillingly silent. But without, when there is, we people, we Rohingya people today, they don't have any alternative. Because when the government, if government has the responsibility to protect their own subject, their own people, they are killing. And to Aung San Suu Kyi, the Nobel Peace Winner Prize winner. It's a shame on her. She has commitment for human rights. She has commitment for democracy. She has commitment for uh, uh, to give, I mean, the, um, uh, uh, to, to, to treat people fair then. But why not? And, and the good is, she said, we have, we have to practice the compassion. Why are all these things? She is not demonstrating to I mean, anything like this. So she is, in fact, she is implicit. What is going on now? Implicit in the genocide. Implicit in the crimes against humanity. Yesterday, she was talking in Singapore 
to a gathering of 800 <laughs> army people. They are somewhat personal. Why they, they, they are the human tag in oxide about regarding the violation of something, the violation of human rights in Burma? The outsiders or the outside people that they are, they, 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 they are, they, they are raising voices. What is your opinion about it? She was laughing. When someone questioned her about the genocide, she was laughing. So that means this lady, she is responsible, fast responsible for this. She should be brought to the International Criminal Court. Yes, yes, yes. 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 This is So, as to brother, you see, this is a, what this situation is going on. Now, what do you can do? What, are, what, what, what is to be done now? We have the only hope. We are to become defenseless. We are helpless. The only hope for our international community, our friends. As to Bangladesh, Bangladeshi brothers have got a morally moral responsibility to help. Because, as I told you, this is a, we have not only Muslim, we are culturally, we have we have a link. The link historically we have got this. This should, our case should be the common issue for the for the for the, the Bangladeshi brothers. Beyond political affiliation, beyond political affiliation, it should be common issue. Because on one one hand this is the issue of the Muslim, on the other hand this is the violation of human rights issue. So this might we are expecting from you. You are we are we are from a high expectation on you. And uh, we are very much thankful to you for raising your voice here. Thank you very much. Thank you.